guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be over my skincare. Without further ado, we're gonna go straight into the video. So backstory to my skin. Um, I struggled with acne for five to six years. I started off with very small um, bumps on my forehead at first, and then it slowly progressed into my cheeks, and then it formed into cystic acne, which if you don't know what that is, um, it's basically those super, oh my God, they hurt so much, but they're just like those on, sur on the surface, obviously it's rooted in the skin, but it's like on the surface you can see, and I will try and insert a picture here. Um, but basically it's where the white head part is popping and it's like really big, honestly, and it hurts. It's, I had them all around here and I also, um, I never had back knee. I never had acne on my back or my chest. It was strictly on my face. I started drinking so much water. That is all I drink. And still to this day, mostly the only juices that I drink are natural juices, cold press juice. I do drink coconut water and little things like that. But I don't like drink sweet tea. I, I hate soda. I do drink kombucha though. So it just kind of like, I feel like diet is a very big factor in um, your skin. Um, I try and limit my dairy intake. You guys know I'm not a vegan anymore, but I do um, enjoy dairy here and there. I don't eat it as often. One, I bloat. Two, triggers my migraines. And three, it breaks me out. Like, But for me, diet is a big issue. If I eat like really bad, I'm gonna have a pimple here and there. But luckily, I don't break out as much because of Accutane. So I was on Accutane for about eight months. It literally worked amazing. It cleared my acne. Uh, I just get so excited talking about it because I struggled so hard. And when it comes to um, Accutane, oh my God, like my personal journey with Accutane was all over the place. It was a roller coaster. I. <sighs> Wow, the first time taking it, I've only taken it once, but like the very first dose that I took was insane. I felt everything immediately, like my skin dried out, my lips were gross, um, but I always had like Vaseline. I Chapstick never worked for me, those EOS bombs never worked for me, so I only used Vaseline, which was a lifesaver. Um, but my skin completely changed, completely made a 360. I originally had combo skin, so oily and a little dry, just normal skin, but I had extremely bad acne, on my cheeks especially. Um, this area here, I didn't really get them as much on my forehead as I started to grow older, but definitely hormonal acne. Oh my God, my chin was really bad. I will also insert pictures, because I want you guys to see how great my skin looks now, and I'm not showing off, it's just I'm really proud of the journey that I was on you know and like it's led me here and like I'm able to talk about my personal experience with acne because it's something that not a lot of people want to talk about because they're insecure and trust me I know because I had it for so long um back to the whole uh Accutane after taking it um again my skin completely changed I have extremely dry skin now really really dry skin it looks a little oily now, but thanks to the highlight and all those skincare products that I do use, I do take care of my skin religiously, and that is because I had acne and I don't want to get it again. Um, there are chances after you take Accutane that you can get acne again if you don't take care of your skin. And also, some people do have to take another round of Accutane, which is something that I'm trying to avoid. One, it can be expensive. Two, it's very time consuming. You have to go to the doctor once a month, you get prescribed your dose, um, you have to wait, and you have to answer all these questions, and on top of that, you have to be on a birth control method, which I was on, um, not for any other reasons, but just as specifically for Accutane. They will not give you Accutane unless you have a form of birth control, con like it has to be by mouth or a patch or something. Um, I was on a birth control patch before I got on Accutane because they wanted to test and see if okay, maybe if um, birth control just works for her specifically, for her hormonal acne, it'll clear up, did. But then I got off of birth control and that's when the acne came back so aggressively and then I got an Accutane. I've tried topical medicines like salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, um, Retin-A, Retinol, like all that stuff I've tried and none of it worked for me up until I was on Accutane, which is why I had to get on it um, because that was my last option. Now, 
after all of that, now you guys kind of have a little backstory of my skin, I'm going to start with my skincare routine. Okay, every morning that I wake up, I wash my face. And every night, I wash my face. So morning and night, I use the same exact face wash, except my night skin care routine is a little bit different. The first thing that I use um, in the morning is the Avo Botanica Acne Dote, and it's a face and body scrub. It's this one right here. I will link everything that I can down below so that you guys can click on them and read reviews and see if it works for you as well. Keep in mind that my skin care routine may not work for you. Some products may definitely break you out. Um, it just depends on your, the person and also your skin type and how your skin reacts to things and how sensitive it is. I have extremely dry skin, sensitive skin, acne prone skin. So the, if any of that, if that's you in any shape or form, maybe these products might work for you, maybe they may not. But this, my mom uses it. Oh my God, we both love it. We go through it hard. Um, I prefer to buy it on Amazon because it comes in a pack of two and it's cheaper, but you can find it at uh, Walmart and you can find it at Target. Uh, this has worked wonders. I've actually been using this since I got off of Accutane. I couldn't be on, on, on this wall on Accutane because it was too harsh on my skin. I will show you guys what I did use when I was on Accutane, which is a great face wash as well. It's very gentle, but it does um, help a lot with soothing the skin. So yeah, this was great, love it. Um, so this is what I use in the morning. This is the face wash that I was actually using while I was on Accutane. It's the Pacifica Kale Detox. Then after that, I go in to my uh, aloe rose water. I use the Pearl Essence Aloe Rose Water Soothing Face Mist. This. Um, I got this one, I believe, at TJ Maxx. And you can get it at Marshalls or you can get it online as well. I'm sure Amazon sells it. This is so good for uh, dry skin or just even prepping your skin, especially after I set my makeup. Um, I was using the airspun powder, but again, I have very dry skin, so I would have to like douse myself with this. Um, but now I actually switched my powder to something more hydrating and I absolutely love it. It's so good. But yeah, this is what I use right after I wash my face. Um, another thing, I use oils. I know a lot of people are, um, very sensitive to oils. I personally am not. Again, I do have very sensitive skin. I have acne prone skin and I have dry skin. So again, if that is you, these are going to be perfect. I use the Advanced Clinicals, both of them, that's the name of the brand, vitamin C oil and rosehip oil. So let me quickly talk about the vitamin C. <sighs> so hydrating. It keeps me nice and like glowy um it says it's good for dark spots and even tone and expression lines promotes a firmer looking complexion ferulic acid uh supports a luminous youthful radius that's where the glow comes from it's super good i've almost ran out of it i've been using this probably since may and i can definitely tell a difference in my skin it's so good i love it so much as much as I love the rose hip, which rose hip is actually really good for scarring. After Accutane, my only concern was scarring. It still is. It's not as bad anymore. I do have foundation on again. Um, I also don't use a lot of foundation. I mostly conceal sometimes, but I don't really like using a lot of foundation because my skin doesn't need it as much. And that's something that it's just personal preference. Some people really like their full coverage foundation. I'm more like light to medium coverage. The rose hip oil is an anti-wrinkle oil. It's vitamin C rich formula supports even skin tone. 100% agree because my acne scars are actually um, fading, which is great. Uh, pure vitamin E rejuvenates skin for a more youthful look and calming rosehip oil helps wrinkles fade. It's just been helping a lot with my scarring. So these two things are, oh, I love them. They're my babies. For moisturizer, I actually use a night cream. Uh, it's actually by skin. It says skincare by Oxquith and Somerset. I think that's how you say it. And I actually got this at Marshalls. They do have a day cream, but I don't feel like it's as moisturizing as a night cream. Again, I have very sensitive skin and very dry skin, so I need something thick. It is pretty thick, and looks like that. So it's thick. It's not going anywhere. Um, I really like it. It's uh, it's just so good and it's affordable. It's like 
Um, I right now I'm actually on the hunt for um, sunscreen. I have a lot of sunscreens that I've tried or I'm actually allergic to. My skin will turn bright red and I will break out. <laughs> so right now I'm just looking for a uh, sunscreen because I truly do believe that sunscreen is essential for your skincare routine. A lot of people miss that and they're like, oh, it's not that sunny or it's not summer. We don't need to use sunscreen. You do need to use sunscreen. I just personally haven't found one that works for me yet, but I can't wait to find one. Um, so now we're gonna move on to what I do at night. And I do the exact same thing, but when I do wear makeup, I start off with this. Y Perfect Pore Cleansing Foam by Skin Food. It's a pore control, it's just uh, has eggs in it to help tighten the skin a little and kind of like minimize the size of your pore and this is what it looks like. I just have a sample size. Um, it's really good and it does really go in there and like, I feel like it kind of cleans my um, pores. This has more of a tingly feeling so if you do try this, you'll feel a little bit of tingliness and that's probably <laughs> from um, the salicylic acid and it has willow bark extract. Another thing that I really like about this is no parabens, no um, uh, synthetic fragrances, and it's 100% vegetarian, which is good for the animals. Um, this, I'm not 100% sure if it is. It probably isn't. But it is made in Korea, and a lot of uh, Korean skincare products uh, are actually really good. And I've tried a couple, but this one, this one's really good. I'm going to move on to face mask, and I have two here. I have a vegan one. Um, it's called E era organics and i got this one on amazon um it's revive plus microdermabrasion manuka honey walnut scrub and mask i know walnut and almond masks tend to get a bad rep but if you use them correctly and gently your skin's gonna be fine um this is what it looks like i will also leave a link down below and what i really like about this is that i do use it as a scrub but i don't scrub as hard on my skin because i do have sensitive skin or sometimes i use it as a mask with this, um, it does really go in there deeply and you can feel it. It goes really in there and cleans uh, those pores. I like using this once or twice a week. Um, all the other things I use every single day. Um, with this one, um, I love Lush. Lush has amazing skincare products. Most of them, they're all vegetarian. Most of them are vegan. This one is vegan, the uh, Catastrophe Cosmetic. It's a fresh face mask. I love it for soothing my skin at the end of the week. Sometimes um, because I do work and go to school, I do use makeup almost every single day. So it just feels really good. It soothes your skin. It makes my skin radiant and soft. And this is what this one looks like. It's kind of clay-based, I want to say. And it smells so good. But if any questions, comments, concerns, or advice or anything, I'm open to it. Just comment it below and then I will go ahead and reply it to the best of my abilities. If not, I will try and find the answer for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye.